it's not very often where I get a request on my request section that really piques my curiosity. And I had somebody request that I um, discuss the differences between the number of licenses that are available. Specifically, the GNU General Public License, the LGPL, the BSD License, the MIT License, and just for good measure, I thought I'd throw in the EULA, E-U-L-A. And we're going to discuss all that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, before I begin, let me state that I am not a lawyer. To find out the differences between these licenses, I just did a little bit of digging around on Google, the Wikipedia, and the Creative Commons website. I will have a link in the show notes to the Creative Commons website so that you can have a look at some of these licenses yourself. Okay, first, let's talk about the GNU General Public License, or GPL as it is often called. This is the most common license that is accompanied with free software that is in use today and uh, the Linux kernel uses it and there are literally hundreds of other applications out there that basically use this and under the GPL basically you can modify this software any way that you want to but the thing is any modifications that you make to this software must continue to be licensed under the GNU public license and you basically must give those same rights to everyone else that you received yourself. Okay, next I'm going to talk about the lesser GNU general public license. Now, the LGPL, as it is called, is like the GNU public license. However, maybe you might have some proprietary libraries and that sort of thing that you want to be able to link to. You can modify the software and you of course will return that code back providing the same freedoms with the exception of the code necessary for the proprietary drivers uh, if that is my understanding of it after reading through that. So pretty much it, it's similar, but the thing is this allows you to use uh, proprietary or non-free software with it. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the BSD license. Now, the BSD license, uh, in contrast to the general public license, uh, is very permissive. Used originally by the BSD operating system, it covers a fair amount of software in use today. The BSD basically says, here's the source code, use it however you want to, but if you have a problem with it, it's your problem. That means you can take BSD's code and make proprietary software with it if you want to. Uh, there's nothing saying that you have to contribute anything back to the code, but it is nice if you choose to do so. Okay, next is the MIT license. The MIT license is a free software license originating at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. It has a, a permissive free software license, meaning that it permits reuse within proprietary software provided all copies of the licensed software include a copy of the MIT license terms. Such proprietary software retains its proprietary nature even though it incorporates software under the MIT license. The license also is GPL compatible, meaning that the GPL permits combination and redistribution with software that uses the MIT license. And the moral of this story is, never drink anything with caution on the label. Ugh. And now we're down to the most ridiculous license of all, the end user license agreement, the EULA. Now, unlike all of the other licenses that I've discussed that give you all kinds of freedoms, the end user license agreement takes your freedom away. The end user license agreement says that sharing is wrong. You can only use this on one computer. You may not change the software at all. Some 
EULAs may state you can only run the software on specific hardware. If our software breaks your system, you're screwed! <laughs> okay, now I have a headache. After uh, going through all of that legal mumbo-jumbo with all the licenses and that sort of thing. But hey, if you want a good belly laugh, why don't you read the end-user license agreement for Microsoft or Apple or something like that? Uh, they got some pretty nasty stuff in there. Ooh. And if there's anything I didn't cover in this uh, little video snippet, um, please put it in the space below to share with others. Mm -hmm.